welcome to the channel learning pharmacy today i am going to discuss about dtap that is drug technical advisory body so in this video uh, i am going to share about dtap and its important points dtap is stands for drug technical advisory body the drug technical advisory body is constituted by central government under the act drug and cosmetic they do advise to the central government and the state government on technical matters the head office of dtab it is very important point please note down head office of dtab is in nirman bhavan which is situated in new delhi and the chairman of dtab is director general of health service let's know about structure of members there are total 18 members in dtab and they are divided into three major groups the first one is ex officio second one is nominated members and third one is elected members in ex officio there are eight members in nominated members there are five members and elected are five members ex officio can hold the office as long as they are in that specific position but elected and nominated members can hold for 3 years only let's talk about uh, the members of ex officio there are eight members in ex officio the first one is director general of health service and the director general of health service is the chairman of dtab the second member is from drug controller of india and the third member is director of central drug laboratory which is in kolkata or kolkata the fourth member is director of the central research institute which is in kasoli and the fifth member is from director of indian veterinary research institute which is in ijjat nagar and sixth member is from the director of central drug research institute which is in lucknow and the seventh member is the president of medical council of india popularly known as mci and the eighth and the last member of ex officio is the president of pharmacy council of india that is pci and our second major group is elected members so there are five members which are elected the first one is one teacher which is elected by pci second group is uh, second member is another a teacher which is elected by mci third one is a pharmacologist by the governing body of indian council of medical research the fourth Uh, member is a person who is elected by central council of indian medical association and the last person is elected by the council of india indian pharmaceutical association and the last major group is the nominated members so two person is nominated by the central government and one person uh, by the central government uh, who belongs from the pharmaceutical industry and two persons who is a government analyst and uh, are nominated by central government so uh, now what are the points that uh, we must remember the first point is who is the chairman of dta that is director general of health service second Uh, where is the central drug laboratory so the laboratory is in kolkata where is the central drug research institute which is in lucknow so majorly we uh, we are we should uh, go through the ex officio members as uh, from that topic many question arises in our uh, government exam either it is Uh, G-Pad, pharmacist exam, or drug inspector.